does it, is it true that you're not supposed to do um, the same links back and forth? Like if you have too many, just link to me and I'll link to you, that it should be more triangulated or something? Yeah, like a few years ago, like Google's always improving their algorithm. Um, there's actually currently more than, just over, probably over 200 um, different things that they consider when looking at how much they trust your site and how, where they're going to rank it. Um, and yes, that is one of the things, is, is like if you have links, a lot of links to and from other people, those links aren't as potent, they don't weigh as heavy as just inbound links. So and that's called a backlink. So a backlink is where you link back to the person. An inbound link is um, more valuable. That means where someone has you on their site. Yep, or they have an art. So they so, say you write a really good article, and uh, and people link to your site saying, "Wow, this is a great article on hedgehogs." You're not linking back to them; uh -huh. they are linking to you. And so um, that's one of the reasons that content is considered king on the internet and in SEO. If you write really good stuff, uh, and and people a lot of people link to you, uh, your trustworthiness goes up by having those people link to you. And so you will be considered more authoritative uh, when people search for you. So, um, yeah, Google's the only company, uh, website that I know of that has a, a 10, that ranks a 10 on the page rank. YouTube's a 9. Uh, most e-commerce websites want to rank uh, around a 4 or 5 on page rank. How do you know what your site is currently? Um, there, there's actually uh, what's called, there's, you can go to seobook.com and they have a tool that will help you determine page rank. There are uh, plugins for Firefox that will allow you to, to see what the page rank of that particular website is. Also a really good uh, helpful SEO tool is uh, the HubSpot Grader, which is the website for that. The URL is uh, website.grader. G R A D E R dot com, and uh, you can actually put in your website, and it will give you a score from one to or zero to a hundred uh, based on the sites that it's already evaluated, uh, and tell you where you rank according to those things. Uh, yeah, according to the other websites, and it will. Uh, it's a great tool. I, I use it often, and it will actually give you. Uh, uh, what your page rank is, so it actually aggregates a lot of data into uh, one useful area. Yeah? So are you giving yourself a disservice if you like have a blog role where you're linking to other blogs on your topic because you're linking out to them? Um, and then if they link back to you, it's bad? Not necessarily. Like, it's not bad, it's not as good if you have just inbound links. Links are great for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think most any kind of link that you get inbound uh, is excellent. You know, you want as many inbound links. If you do link back and forth, that's okay. Um, I don't think you can get penalized for it. Um, I haven't, I haven't experienced any penalization for that. Um, but if you do have inbound links, um, we, it is argued that they are stronger. So, yeah. I missed SEO. What does that mean? Uh, search engine optimization. Okay. Yes. So uh, we'll go on to the next term. Keyword. So keyword's pretty easy. It's a, it's a word or phrase that you might rank for in the SERPs, S-E-R-P-S. And, uh, and so I'll, SERP, I believe, is the next. The next. Uh, so all SERP means a search engine ranking page. So when you type in a term, that's a search engine ranking page. So um, there's also a tool called... Um, SEO or yeah, it's on SEO Book. It's one another one of their tools that you can actually see where you rank. Um, there's also another great tool called uh, Raven SEO, uh, and I I use that quite a bit as well. Um, it's more for search engine specialists, but they do have if you have just your own site, you can do some evaluation. It's a really useful tool to help you market online. So. Um, yeah, so basically a keyword, we're going to talk a little bit about how um, search engines see websites, and then we're going to talk about keywords. Uh, a keyword can be a word or phrase. Um, typically, it's a, if it's a phrase uh, in, in you're using it in your meta tags, um, it is separated by a comma. So you don't want to just put like 
hamsters, space, cupcakes, space, Google, I don't know. Uh, you want to put like hamsters slash cupcakes slash whatever word that you use, or not slash, excuse me, comma. Uh, you want to comma separate those values, and so you can have multiple words that are separated by a comma, and it knows that that is a keyword phrase that you're wanting to rank for. So like world's best hamsters, or you know, crazy hamster tricks, something like that. So with space between the words? Yes, yeah, space between the words. Um, and so, yeah, we'll kind of look at how, uh, <coughs> this, is, uh, this is Ivan, and uh, he is the Google robot. He's not really, but uh, Google. what Google does is uh, they have um, a couple of robots, and what it is is just software that goes, scours the internet, and uh, super quickly it uh, looks at web pages and uh, finds them. So they, they actually don't see uh, websites like this. This is how we would see a website, uh, and uh, robots don't really look at it that way. Come on. There we go. So they don't know what's going on uh, when they look at this. They actually, uh, so they, they can't actually see images. So pictures, they can't see. Uh, they don't know what's in a picture, obviously. They don't know what's in video. And they don't know what's in a, a Flash website. So if your website is made from Flash, uh, you will have a really, well, you will almost definitely not get found uh, via the search engine. There's they have really limited uh, resources. They're starting to be able to look into Flash and the video. Uh, this year they're going to be releasing some really interesting things. Um, but what you can do is you can, uh, you can actually label your, your pictures. And um, in, the, in the back end, uh, you can actually have the tags where you can tag your picture in the HTML. You can say, this picture is about hedgehogs. So, or, or this video or this Flash element. So. Uh, so this is kind of this is actually how uh, robots look at a web page. This is that exact same web page. Uh, this is how a robot would see it. And uh, so what they do is they actually just look at the back end of a website. They look at the HTML. And uh, if does everyone know how websites like fit together? Do you want me to explain that real quick? Does anyone? Okay. So a website is basically uh, you could think of it as a filing cabinet. Okay, and so like your server would be a filing cabinet where you keep your your website, and uh, your website would be in a file, and so your website consists of pictures, text, uh, those are the basic elements, and so what happens is when a when you type in a URL when you go to Facebook or when you go to somewhere else, uh, the the browser goes to the filing cabinet and asks for the website basically and the, it pulls out that file that is the website and the browser dynamically assembles the website how you see it. And so what a, a, a Google's robot, uh, it goes and uh, it sees web pages similarly, it, it accesses them super fast, indexes them, and, and stores them on Google servers. So it can be brought up for a search query. And when you type in, you know, when you type in a search result, it actually goes to the servers um, and it matches your your query to what they have stored, and then it brings up uses the page rank formula to find out uh, which is the most relevant and which is the most um, trustworthy source for what you're looking for, and then what it does is it sends you to that page, you know, it sends you the search engine rankings page, its results, and it does that in all under you know, about 200 milliseconds, um, which is really, really fast. So they do an excellent job. Um, and so something that you should know that uh, what's important to search engines uh, is, you know, what's important to us, we, we like to see visual, pretty things. And so when you're designing a website, you need to actually design your website for both things. That's one of the things that, that my company, uh, Advent Creative, does. Uh, they. I, I think we have some world-class designers, uh, and as well as we really like to focus on um, building your site to perform uh, for search engines. 